Hi, welcome to the project RFID based attendance system. So in this project, this is the RFID reader. We have provided seven cards with the system. Two are invalid card and five are valid card. This is the main microcontroller PCB. We have used 89S51 microcontroller. This is the LCD display which displays the time. So whenever the whenever you turn on the project, it displays uh, entered into time setting mode and you have to set the time and you can even do it later on by pressing this key. So once you press this key, it says enter into time setting mode. You can press increment key to increment the seconds. Whenever you press enter key, it goes to minutes. You can increment minute, then hour, then day and so on. So now once you are done, you can press the escape key. Now I will give you the demonstration of valid and invalid card. So suppose a student comes with a valid card. So this is a valid card and it shows the LCD display shows the student number and the card number. And the entry is made into the microcontroller memory. Then a person comes with an invalid card. The LCD display shows RFID card not valid and this buzzer is turned on. So I will give you the demonstration of the attendance module. So I will make the entry of let's say 4 cards. And this is the 4th student login into the system. So all this data is stored into the uh, microcontroller memory. Whenever you want to see the attendance, you can press this key. LCD display shows the student number. So student number 1, 3, 4 and 5 and it will display the respective time whenever the student have entered into the entered the card into the system. So whenever you press this attendance key, the same data is sent to the uh, co computer using this DB9 connector. So this is the DB9 connector which should be connected to the serial port of the computer. So you will see the same attendance which is shown on the LCD. Uh, the same attendance will be shown on the PC. So that's all about the demonstration of the project RFID based attendance system. If you have any doubts queries or anything you can contact us you can email us or you can contact us or you can even write comments below this video thank you